Yo, what's going on, 60 Sam Lander Squad? How you guys doing? I have not played a Kamazots game in a long time. The last time I did it was in a Try Hard Thursday, and those those are kind of standalone games where I don't really expect people to it's almost like kind of a Twitch stream, right? I don't expect people to actually watch and and, and love this aspect, right? Like the one specific gods aspect. It's more of the whole hour long, like feature film type thing that gets you involved. You know what I mean? Which I understand. Um, so I'm fighting gamer lover, which if I'm, isn't gamer lover. Oh man. I forgot his name. been wanting to play this matchup well i certainly do not want to play this matchup it's a good matchup for me no starters does no starters make it bad for me it makes it seem like it's bad for me now maybe it is bad for me i don't know all i do know is that i am getting Two stacks of passive off this buff. Oh, he did, oh, he did blue and then speed. Okay. I really don't understand why people are doing that. I don't get it. I don't know why. But I guess it doesn't have to make sense. It's just people's preference. But then again, almost everything should make sense in a game because there is a meta to everything. So if you're not following the meta, then you're not doing doing shit right. No, oh, unlucky. He's level five already. Um, I'm not scared of him. Maybe I should be, but, but I'm not. Also, Amazon's got buffed a little bit. And he now does, uh, what is it called? He does, his ultimate is like instant. There's a word for it. I just can't remember what the word is. Immunity, I guess. Yeah, he just hides behind his two. This is how he's going to play this. That's fair. He can't get his transcendence. I guess he's backing just for posterity's sake. Heal up, get some more mana. I personally do not have to, so I am ready for this level 5 fight. I'm maxing my 1 here because my next item after transcendence is going to be... Wait, how the hell can he afford that? How the hell did he get transcendence here? I'm definitely not getting this buff. That's for guaranteed. Oh. Hmm. Him getting transcendence really sucked for me. Also, the fact that I I thought that his two only stopped my my two, not my one as well. He's waiting for my blue to spawn. Okay. Well, I'm in a really shitty position now. Okay. I think you die here, right? Damn, I am slow. All right, that's good. We got first blood. I wonder if he wanted to play this matchup because he thought it was bad for him or because he thought it was good for him. Because I genuinely don't know. Like, I always just kind of assumed this matchup was really good for the Kamazos player. Because I can see him when he's stealth. So a bunch of his, like, by default, Loki shenanigans are just not going to fly. I'm going to be able to see him. 
He's going Berserker Shield now? Wait, I want that stack. Nice. Yeah. Do a couple of tower, tower hits. Well, that did not work out for you. I do way more damage than you do. I actually have more transcendent stacks than him. Although I will say when it comes to this this red buff, he definitely has the timer a lot better than me in terms of backing for a power spike for the red buff. Which sucks a little bit, but you know, is what it is. Decent damage. I got some good, some good numbies I can pump here. Hmm. He's playing this kind of scared, which is surprising, isn't it? Normally, Lokis are not scared players. Well, I guess that's not true. But like a good Loki normally isn't scared in the sense that they'll run in, they'll poke, they'll do whatever they are supposed to, right? Clear wave, shit like that. But he's just kind of waiting. Just kind of waiting it out. Does he win the level 20, maybe? This is why he assumes he can just wait it out? Perhaps. I don't actually know. <clears throat> I don't actually know if he does win the level 20. I haven't played Kamazots in a long time. I'm not very good with him anymore. I do be whipping all of my shit when I play this god now. 30% <laughs> cooldown at the gate, though. That's not bad at all. 30% cooldown at the gate is not bad at all. Probably Heartseeker Hydras type stuff. It's gonna be good for me here. Nice. Getting that blue is actually huge for me. Mm. Is Berserker Shield good for him? It doesn't seem like it would be. You don't see a lot of Lokis always raving about their auto attacks, you know? Ouch. gonna force him to run all the way back forcing him to run all the way back buys me like an extra five or six seconds that gets me uh enough time to take this tower and probably get the red i'm hoping i can get the red i went berserkers dude i don't know i don't i don't like the way he's playing berserkers instead of bracer and yes, Hydra gives you pen, so I understand it, but like, is it enough pen? We just stealthed away from it. It's a little annoying. That's a little annoying. He's just gonna proxy clear everything on the planet he's so fast
I wonder if I should go Hydras myself now, or if I... Because I, I... Here's the build. I want Transcendence, which I have. I want Breastplate, which I have. I want Hydras, which caps my cooldown out. And then I want Heartseeker and Titan's Bane. And on top of that, I don't actually know what I want. Kind of where my... My thought ends, I guess. Or my gameplay has to be a little bit better than my thought process. Um... I wonder if he's just doing this because he wants to get level 20. Like he wants that one shot that you inevitably get as a Loki player. That's probably exactly what he's doing. Trying, excuse me, trying to wait me out. Second relic. I don't know. Wonder if I can go Emperor's armor here, actually. Oh, I literally suck. Gonna halt me. I don't think that's in your favor, holding me. Oh well, unless I miss. Oh, I wanted that. What the fuck? Hmm. There's both of his relics. That was a win for me, for sure. That was a win for me, for sure. Dude, Bull Demon is up again. That's upsetting. That is honestly pretty upsetting. I have to give up Bull Demon again. Are you there? You're not there. Okay, surprising. And he's not there even still. And I have Heart Seeker. I assume he also has Heart Seeker. Because he's not that far behind me in gold. Is it maybe worth it for me to risk it? Because I don't think that I can actually get Bull Demon. Because of the fact that he is an alt, right? Like, he just alts me and then yoinks it from me. Hmm. He did just back. I don't know, man. Fuck it. He's definitely running over you right now. Nice. It's pretty big. Oh. That one shot. Jesus. So what happened there initially was that he got the drop on me. Why'd he surrender? Misclick. <laughs> Dude, what? Come on. Fuck. 
That is so tragic, dude. I did the same exact thing. I surrendered while trying to pause in a video over the weekend. <laughs> Oh man, that's actually so funny. That's actually so funny. Holy crap. Well. Oh. Well, um. I guess GG. I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, boys. Game number two. And this guy passed literally all of his bands. And now I don't know what to play. I wanted to play Kamazots. I will. Look at Yomi. I feel like this might be Benny Q. Because I fought him once before. And he passed all of his bands then. No. I don't know why this guy passed all of his bands. Tsukiyomi is a... Is it a good matchup or is it a bad matchup? I don't know. It's a weird one for sure. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can jump his stun, which is great. And I can ult his ult, which is great. But what I cannot do is consistently have range over him. Like he can over me. Which is not great, by the way. <laughs> So I don't know if oh, my nose. I don't know if I wanna. Oh man, I just don't know. I just don't know anything, man. I just don't know. I'm gonna double stack my passive on this. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm double stacking my passive, I'm essentially. It's not a bug because if it was a bug, they would have fixed it. A long time ago but if you get the last hit with your two on a jungle minion you can use your two on it once and then you last hit it again with your two you get two stacks instead of one which is really good for duel like Kamazot's duel specifically because that means you can actually fully stack your passive off of only two camps which is important you went for my xp camp hello Do not think you win this fight. Well, that was close. I could have shelled. I didn't want to. Oh, you got so greedy, my guy. Why did you greed me like that? Like, okay, let's say I, I miss an ability, right? I still have shell, and I can just auto-attack auto you once and you die. That was so greedy. Why did he do that? There, okay, so there's, there's two... I guess technically there's three types that, that I could have gone. One, exactly what happened. I hit my abilities, he dies. I don't use anything. Two, I miss my abilities, I shell, he dies. Three, I miss my abil abil abilities, I miss my abilities, and my shell doesn't go off. I also miss my auto attack, and then I die. That, that could have happened, granted. It definitely was an option, but... I mean, I don't know. Not a good option. You don't want to, you don't want to take a fight, assuming that he's gonna miss everything that he has. It's gonna be a pain in the ass for you. Oh, his blue just spawned. Don't mind if I already do. Don't mind if I already do. Thank you. 
And I am maxing my one, by the way, for more power. I max my I like maxing my one more as Kamazots. I used to max my two a lot when I played him like a lot a lot. But I don't know, maxing the one just seems stronger. Because you get so much power from it now. Well actually they nerfed the power. You got more power before from it, but Hello. Hello, speed buff user. I missed. I missed. Oh, he wants to pick up that red buff so bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny, actually. Oh. Well, okay, then. I just flew over here to check if... Uh, if his speed was up. I, I saw his speed buff on him, but it went away, so I just assumed maybe his, his buff spawned again, but it didn't. I'm delusional. And this is going to be a, a different build than last game. Last game, I felt like I needed some sort of survivability early on, like the breastplate, because if I didn't, I would get poopied on. This game, I feel pretty comfortable going into a crusher or beat stick even. That two really does no damage when you don't max it. Oh, what the heck? That's my clear, bro. Oh, you are not going to win this fight. Oh, okay, unless I miss. Whew. Damn it. Boom, I missed again. Fog. That was not my finest moment, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Definitely not my finest moment. Oh, a blue buff. I'm going to die doing this, aren't I? All right, he doesn't have ult. I'm fine. I'm fine. He's got no ult. We're chilling. He's got a wave to deal with, too. And he has a red buff he wants. Dude, I'm vibing. I can be Greedy McGee out here. Jesus, I'm full health again. Hello. Where did he go? Why did he not get red? I'm confused. I am confused and discombobulated. They're just letting me do whatever I want. That is not good for you. I missed. Oop. Ow. Now, I will say, you do have the breastplate. I missed. There we go. Didn't miss that one. Massive kill, and I have 3,000 gold. So I'm going to back. I'm going to grab. Grab pressure. And I'll grab breastplate. Oh, wait, what about Hydras? Hydras and breastplate are the same amount of gold. I'll grab breastplate. I'm just gonna do my my speed buff before. There we go. I'll grab breastplate. Be a little more safe. I'm gonna go blink here because I feel like a lot of times he's he's being really weird with his playstyle, in the sense that he's staying in these. He's not far away, but he's not close, right? He's like this medium range away where if I just had blink, I would catch some fatty dubs. So here we are with blink and 200 power. 
Can I hit you? No. What if I hit your blue buff? Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, hello. Oh, he just ran. I missed. No, uh. no, uh. no shot. I'm letting you live through that. <laughs> All right, GG, man. GG. I wish I got to see that Loki gameplay out because I feel like I, I was going to win because I had his tower down. I had bull demon. I died. Right? So he probably was going to get my tower, but I still would have gotten, um, I still would have gotten his Phoenix, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think I would have won that Loki game, but I, I still wish I got to see it play out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Little Kamazot special, two games in one. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.